This is today. We talked about last night's show. Thursday being a deluge with some rain in the morning, we escaped it all together. Bright, beautiful sunshine and 14 degrees at 10 o'clock. City Hall webcam showing some blue skies with some fair weather clouds. That changed this evening as a cold front is approaching. That could provide us with some scattered showers for your Friday. Now for this morning, the last bits of this warm front swept through northeast Ontario. A lot of variable clouds which burnt off of, for the most part to just fair skies for this morning. Hit or miss rain showers surrounded the Timmins west to southeast quadrants, missing us altogether. Same thing with up towards Hearst, although there was still some rain uh, on the radar picture for Hearst as well as for Matheson, but nothing went reported whatsoever. The focus point for tonight's show is Hearst, Ontario. Low pressure system 40 miles northeast of Hearst at 5 o'clock this evening, a lot of cloud cover. And there's a cold front coming into the picture, and that's what allowed some cloud cover to enter the picture and cloud over the skies over Timmins, which made the skies look rather threatening for the 5 o'clock dinner hour, if you would. By 7 o'clock this evening, the low pressure sinks southward. It crosses Highway 11. It crosses over 80 miles over two hours and provides a wind shift right for the 7 o'clock hour. So for this morning, Timmins, Kapuskasing enjoyed southwest winds to about 30 kilometers an hour. The winds die down to light and variable for the afternoon. And between the dinner hour and the final hours of sunset tonight, over two or three hours, the wind shifted from south to west to due north, thanks to this cold front approaching from the west, which could trigger some of the active weather, such as scattered showers or periods of rain for your Friday to close out your work and your school week. To show how the cold front is in motion, it's right now, as of 9 o'clock tonight, over Sault Ste. Marie, east of Lake Superior. There's still some warmer air aloft sneaking in, ahead of the cold front, mainly towards the southern part of our viewing area, including the Sudbury North Bay area. We have a, a very well-curved frontal boundary stretching up towards the low parked right over Fort Severn, Ontario. Now, low pressure systems been counterclockwise like so. That's why we have the northwest wind shift coming in from the northwest tonight. It's assisted by this high pressure over Saskatchewan, Manitoba with the clockwise wind flow. So the high provides the variable cloud that provides the wind flow from the northwest which wraps around the lows going backwards once again. You remember how I mentioned that? It's always at figure eight motion, just like so. For your Friday forecast, we'll pay attention if these frontal boundaries slash cold front mix up the weather conditions for your Friday and produces that active weather. The good thing is, is that the sunshine dominated all the Northeast Ontario. Tim is reaching 19 degrees at two o'clock for the hot spot. Oh, but we flip flop with Capus Case and they gain 19 degrees as well by three o'clock this afternoon making Timmins and Capus Casing tied for the warm spots across Northeast Ontario. And just before we finish tonight, the Ministry of Natural Resources website maintains a low forest fire reading for Timmins, Cochrane, Eureka Falls. Elsewhere around my viewing area, it is moderate. Dodge your rain showers for tomorrow. Keep the, umbrella hap or keep the umbrella handy in case Mother Nature decides to pour on your parade for your Friday. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again another time.